Well, if you're looking to enjoy a little more music this weekend, you have an opportunity to check out a beloved local musician online. That is renowned pianist Nichito Herrera. He was just named an official Steinway artist, a rare designation. Now, he celebrated with a special performance and conversation from his home in Minnesota last night. It's available to watch online right now, and it's just the latest incredible chapter in his story. Now, you may remember last April, we caught up with Nichito after a battle with COVID-19 that nearly killed him. In honor of his latest performance tonight, we're going to take you back to April and the story he shared with us about faith, family, and music. For decades, his piano playing has filled the Dakota Jazz Club and venues worldwide. But today, Nichito Herrera is working from home and happy to be playing at all. It is a gift from God. It has been a really, really, really hard journey, my friend. The coronavirus pandemic forced the Dakota and other venues to close in mid-March. And on March 28th, it forced Nichito to the hospital. When I was telling to my wife and my daughter, I, I didn't feel well. I want to go jump to the doctor to check exactly what was happening. Nope, he didn't really have a cough. He didn't really have a fever. But Nichito's daughter says he was growing so short of breath that she drove him to the St. John's Hospital ER. As soon as they saw him, he was intubated yeah. within 10 minutes. And though he was quickly put on a ventilator, within hours, his lungs and heart were failing. We were very concerned immediately that he might not make it. He was so critically ill. Dr. Melissa Brunsvold says they rushed Nichito to M Health Fairview University Hospital to attempt a treatment called ECMO. ECMO is extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. It's large IV tubes that go into the veins and drains blood out of the body and then pumps it through an artificial lung and then warms it and puts it back into the body. Dr. Brunsvold says ECMO is not a treatment. It's an extreme form of life support used in hopes of buying time for healing. And Nichito required the most extreme kind, supporting both the heart and lungs, something that had only been done in a handful of COVID patients in China. Not all of them had even completed the therapy. We weren't sure if a patient who had COVID would survive. So, Nichito's church, Westminster Presbyterian, started holding virtual prayer vigils, attended daily by supporters and fans worldwide, and after 12 days, their prayers were answered. I cannot remember anything. I just remember oh, that Saturday of the Eastern weekend, I opened my eyes and I saw myself all with many cables and tubes and around all the many machines and things like that. That was crazy. When did you know you had your dad back? When he came to, even while he was intubated, he did this. And when the nurses told me that, um, I started crying with my mom because I, I told him, you have no idea what he just did. Like, that's my dad. That is his way of saying thank you. If you see any of my dad's recordings, can see as soon as he's done he gets up and he does this to the audience so even while intubated and connected to all these machines he was still aware enough to thank the people around him days later Nichito was playing a keyboard from his hospital room and within a week he was back home after finally learning he was rid of the virus. Oh, my dear friend, I was crying <laughs> like a baby. This is what it's all about. This huge team was working and saved the life of this humble guy, which I don't know if I deserve. All I want to do humbly is keep offering my music for all of you, my friend. For now, that means he'll happily work from home to tell everyone who cared for him and prayed for him, thank you. And as you heard, Nichito is still working from home. To check out his latest performance that we mentioned earlier, we've posted a link along with this story on care11.com. We'll be right back.